the challenges I see, and Citrix Synergy certainly highlights these, is really around two things mainly, to be very honest. It's around security, still. That remains a top priority, a top area of investment, uh, and a top area that people are really trying to figure out. And it really comes down to, are they going to use and take a platform approach, or are they gonna take a bolted on approach to security? So that is yet to be solved. And then the other one really comes down to is really user experience. So this idea about what is the experience of the user as we change the way, really what their workspace even looks like, and that's a physical workspace of kind of where they work and may come in and do work, as well as kind of from a technology stand standpoint. You know, how are all their apps assembled? How can they access, I'll say, current modern applications along with legacy applications and, and really project that ideal experience for the end user. So it ends up still being user experience and security are the two things. Yeah, when I think of people moving to the cloud, um, there, there used to be a, uh, okay, let's pump the brakes here, but now you're seeing initiatives at the executive level, right? So I look at it as an opportunity. It's an opportunity potentially from a cost perspective. It's an opportunity from a, a overall user experience perspective. And I see that really driven oftentimes by their consumer experience that they're already getting from, I'll say, really a cloud application or cloud service. And they're really driving that in the enterprise. But the big thing is there are unforeseen circumstances when people move to the cloud. And it ends up being, how do I access that application that I've had in the business for many years? How is that application, you know, work with those cloud services? So there is this little bit of, there's excitement around it, but there's this little bit of, how can I get cloud to work with my existing on-prem solutions in my legacy environment? I think the biggest thing from a workspace perspective that I see is Windows is just an app. And people say, you're crazy, and I say, no. If you look inside the workspace, what's it comprised of? It's comprised of software as a service type of applications. It's comprised of mobile apps in some cases. In that case, I get a Windows icon. And that Windows environment now is just an application that I click on and use. Sometimes it's tied to a desktop because I may need that full experience, but oftentimes it's just tied to an application. So across a workspace now, I look at it being many different applications, Windows just being one of those many.